Hey, what's up everyone? BNJF Plus here. And in today's quick tip video, I wanted to talk about how you can install mods for BeamNG Drive. One of the great things about BeamNG Drive is the modding community is really embraced as the developers and creators of BeamNG Drive actually allow modders to upload their mods to an official mods repository. So let's take a look at how we can access that mods repository and start downloading mods for the game. You can access it either using the link in the description below or simply going to beamng.com resources. Taking a look at the page here over on the left hand side, you can see a number of categories, whether you're looking for vehicles, scenarios, maps, etc. In the center here, you can find some featured resources. These are resources that have been uh, handpicked by the developers um, and they tend to be a little bit higher quality. So if you're looking for some mods to get you started, I definitely start by checking out some of these. And then below that, sorted by last update, are a list of all of the mods as they're submitted. So you can either sort these by last update, submission date, ratings, downloads, or title. So once you find a mod that uh, you think you would like, you can go ahead and click on that. And there's a few options here. You can subscribe to it, you can view it in game, or you can just download now. In my personal experience, the simplest way to get mods and get started in the game is just to use the download now option. The subscribe and view in game options will actually open up your game and show you the mod within the game where you can install it from there as well as subscribe for any updates to it. So those are great options and a lot of people use those but in my personal experience typically I find what works best is just clicking on the download now link. This will allow you to manually select where you'd like to save the mod. Now it's very important that you save it in the correct place. Typically, this will be under C, Users, your username, Documents, BeamNG Drive, Mods, or more simply by going to Documents, BeamNG Drive, Mods. In my case, I've actually moved my BeamNG Drive Mods folder to somewhere else, which is a setting that can be configured in the game. But by default, you'll want to save it under the default directory of Documents, BeamNG Drive, Mods. It's also important to note that once you save the mod file, it's going to save as a zip file, which you are not going to unzip. Now, once you're in the game, if you go to the repository and click on mods in the top left hand corner, you'll find a list of all of the mods that you've installed. From here, you can either deactivate the mod or you can remove and unsubscribe from it. By default, the mod will automatically install itself and activate, so you won't even have to come to this repository screen. You'll simply be able to start up the game, load up a map, and you'll be able to see the mod that you've installed. So that's how I download and install my mods. I also wanted to point out that within the game, you can also select repository along the top here, which will show you the same list of mods that you can find on the mods repository website. The reason I go to the website instead of downloading the mods from here is because I find the website a little bit easier to navigate. I've also found that using that download now option that I showed you in this video, it always downloads and installs the mods successfully. Whereas using the in-game repository, I've had a number of issues where the mods don't necessarily install correctly. Your best bet for getting mods is to always use the repository, whether that's the in-game repository or going to the BeamNG repository website. There are some other sites out there that do offer BNG Drive mods. However, they tend not to be of the greatest quality and they also come from a lot of times you have to download them from sketchier websites. Whereas with BeamNG Drive, if you're using their repository, you're always downloading the mods directly from BeamNG. Your best bet for quality mods is to always use the official BeamNG repository. I've also included some links in the description to some of the official documentation, which will walk you through the process as well. But I do hope this video helped you, uh, especially if you're getting started uh, playing BeamNG Drive. Uh, I'm just showing a few clips here of some of the mods that I've downloaded. I also plan on doing uh, a video in the future highlighting some of my favorite mods. So again, if you're getting started playing BeamNG Drive, um, you might want to check this out, which will help get you started. But again, hopefully this helps you out. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any trouble or if you have any questions for uh, or feedback for future videos. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.